Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Android 17 Reps of Universe 7 uh, Extreme Sea Battle for the EZA for the Android 17 Reps of Universe 7 card. Now, obviously, the effective categories are going to be physical and joint forces. And we're going to actually use an incredibly heavy free-to-play team but I'm going to be honest with you, don't do this. Use your strongest leads possible always. Make your life way easier. Remember, for this, we need to have, we need to have joined forces units, but we also need to have the legendary power active. It can't just be there, it has to be active. So you need to have two units that have legendary power so that you can activate it amongst those units. Once you do have Legendary Power active, then you will get a ton of damage done with those units. Now, Joint Forces is led by a couple units now. Uh, the Physical Blue Boys, the Physical Golden Freezer and Android 17, who's easier you can do right now. The AGL Kale and Khalifla. You also have the AGL Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. There's a lot of units actually for Joint Forces, uh, even Yamcha. The War Tournament Yamcha is actually also a lead. So you got a lot of leads uh, for joint forces as a category. And you got quite a few free-to-play options. In fact, you've got so many free-to-play options that making a free-to-play team is pretty easy. Whether it's good enough to do it uh, is another story. And you can make a free-to-play team that's good enough to do it. But if you've got the Blue Boys, if you've got you know, 17 and Golden Freezer, if you've got the Fusion Fighters, if you've got like all the big hitters, don't not use them. Uh, there's no need to gimmick yourself. Uh, use a joint forces lead. Use as many physical units as possible. Use your strongest joint forces, LRs, and just cream this one. Just make this one so, so, so much easier. Uh, you'll have a way better time overall than if you try to accommodate free-to-play units like I am. Of the free-to-play units, I'd probably say the only one I actually like taking in is probably the uh, Boo and Babidi, uh, or maybe the, yeah, uh, maybe the Ginyu for some support. But they should be floating supports and not main roster units. Uh, the Metal Cooler starts to take damage, the AGL Deborah and Babidi start to take damage. You'll see that I switch in Yamcha and Puar to give us some kind of uh, damage, because Yamcha and Puar are a big source of damage. But realistically, you know, <laughs> Limiting yourself is not always the smartest thing. So although I do teams that prove you can do things free to play or super cheap or you know, there's ways to do it without needing summonable units, uh, you should use them if you got them, especially here. The difference between using top-notch joint forces units and using my you know, perplexing hand-me-down team is night and day. So again, don't limit yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Have a better time than I did. Uh, is what I'll say. Now the EZA uh, overall for this unit looks pretty nuts. Uh, I think all the Universe 7 EZAs have been pretty nuts but this unit's obviously incredibly tied to Universe 7 but because of that they made them really really interesting. 35% uh, damage reduction if your whole team is pretty much reps of Universe 7. Then on top of that an additional 7% uh, damage reduction or 17 percent damage reduction if you have five more so like 52 percent damage reduction for this unit essentially with a ton of attack and defense so it's going to be very interesting to see just how good uh, this unit is overall um and yeah really excited basically to see uh, how good this android 17 is after being fully easy aid of course, the limitations aren't always great, but I think Universe 7 now at this point is so strong that is, uh, you know, so strong that I think really it's just really, really good. Uh, so yeah, honestly, I think they're a pretty interesting unit. So I am super excited to see how good they can be. They also are a great support unit, which makes it a lot easier to incorporate them because you don't have to use them as a yeah, first our tank or anything, you can just use them as a straight support unit. And they increase your allies' attack and defense and critical hit chance, which is pretty damn cool. So yeah, 
that's it from me. Honestly, I hope you guys uh, have fun doing the Extreme Z battle. I hope it has been helpful towards you. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me. So as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you do need help, uh, you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'll probably see you guys in the next one. So as always, uh, take care, stay safe, and uh, yeah, let me know if you need help.